with so many events happening in and around Parliament Hill in the core of Ottawa, where do you begin? I printed off 11 pages of events on the list from your website. It is incredible. Uh, did you have a hand in organizing all of these events? Of course, uh, there's a very large team at the NCC that works on Canada Day every year. Uh, and once we finish with Winterlude at the end of February, uh, we get uh, moving full steam ahead with Canada Day celebrations. So I am involved from a communications perspective in uh, promoting the Canada Day festivities. I know there are too many events to list, uh, but what are some of your most favorite events to take in this weekend? You know, I think the pageantry that starts off in the morning, the raising of the flag on Parliament Hill, uh, the RCMP musical ride are always favorites of mine as well as of the crowds. I think the uh, flyover by the snowbirds is just a really proud moment that sort of makes you, charges you with, uh, with the electrifying feeling of being Canadian. If there's uh, only one uh, event a visitor should go to, meaning like a must-see event, uh, what would that be? Well, certainly for your constituents in particular, uh, the evening show on Parliament Hill will feature a whole lineup of Canadian artists from across the country, uh, but also one uh, homegrown talent, Tommy Swick, a Juno Award winner for New Artist of the Year uh, this year, who will be performing in the evening show on Parliament Hill. <laughs> okay. So over the next few days, there'll be thousands of people coming here. Of course, the visitors and citizens will spend money. How many do you expect to come and what impact will that have on local businesses and vendors here? Every year for Canada Day we, uh, we host approximately 300,000 people in Canada's capital region and it represents about 19 million dollars worth of economic impact for uh, the capital region which includes Ottawa and Gatineau. So you said 300,000? Uh... Correct, 300,000 on the official sites on Canada Day. Right, so has that number been increasing over the, the past few years or what do you think? It's a fairly consistent number. Uh, this year we're very happy to be adding Opera Under the Stars as an activity on the 29th and 30th. Uh, so we have a whole weekend of activities planned and uh, we hope that that will bring out just even more, that many more people. Okay, Catherine, one last question. After it is all over, your work is done and in your quiet place, when you have time to reflect on your thoughts, what does Canada Day mean to you as a Canadian? I think just the opportunity to demonstrate a shared sense of nationhood is really what Canada Day is all about and to really celebrate the great uh, country that we, we have and its 140th birthday party. 140th. Could you sing O Canada for us? I could sing the first few bars, is that what you need? Sure, go for I'm a terrible singer, I won't do my family proud. Go ahead, just a little bit. Oh Canada, our home and native land. Perfect. Thank you very much, Catherine.